Welcome back into midday. A deadly winter storm hit central Minnesota this weekend. In fact, the snowstorm caused hundreds of accidents between noon and 8 p.m. State troopers counted 442 accidents. At least one person was killed, 50 others injured. Conditions are so bad that even two squad cars got into the accident. That is not fun. I've driven in snow before. Mm. I took my <laughs> pickup truck to Chicago. Yeah. Real world drive. It's not fun. No, I got into an accident in the first week. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, you're, you know, you're not, not used to lie. that, so. Yeah. yeah, and the good Lord kept my car for three months. Those folks drive. are used to it, and if it's that <laughs> yeah. bad for them, it must be bad. I know, I know. Yeah. We spent the night several nights uh, here at the station. Last year, yeah, did. During yeah. Ice Mageddon, but we're not dealing with that. <laughs> we are going to see some cooler temperatures, though, as we head it towards. It must get cooler. Yes. Feels like summer out there. I know. It is. We're sweating the oldies, but we are going to see some cooler temperatures, but because it's so warm, like Lisa does not like the warm weather, because we have that warm air mass and then cold air on the way, we have that potential for strong to severe storms. Right now, the timing of this severe weather looks to be from about 3 o'clock in the afternoon until about 9 o'clock at night. So that's a pretty decent window, about six hours we have that potential for severe weather. Mainly our western counties will see the bulk of this activity, very similar to our last event that we had with straight line winds being a primary hazard, heavy downpours, and of course we do have that tornado risk because of the hold, uh, the hot and cold uh, temperature disparity. 30s expected by Thanksgiving morning. So it's gonna be a bit cool out there for your uh, Black Friday camp out. Here's a look at the current weather pattern. This is what we're looking at right now. We do have a ridge centered off the coast of Florida and it's bringing a little pocket of dry air at the surface. That's why you see all this moisture riding along the outskirts of our area. We do have that stalled out boundary right now. That's the focus of shower and thunderstorm development even at this hour. Check out all these storms just riding along the outskirts of that ridge, basically missing us altogether. We do see a lot of cloud cover out there, some dense clouds, and they look quite dark. But keep in mind, the sun inclination changes the way those clouds appear for us. 72 degrees right now in Birmingham. That is very warm. These should be our highs for today, but we still have warmer weather to go. Tuscaloosa at 69 degrees, Coleman 68, Gadsden at 64. There's the front. This is where the boundary lies. You can see that big 30 degree temperature disparity from Dallas Fort Worth down towards the Big Easy. The focus for severe weather as we head towards tomorrow morning will be right around Dallas Fort Worth and southern areas of Oklahoma. There has uh, I'm already checking some of the models and this particular pocket looks very dangerous. Anybody traveling in that direction, be sure to check with your air carrier. And of course, you can get that free app Alabama's 13.com on your smartphone. That way you can check it no matter what. These are your rain forecast models. We're quickly going through it until we hit tomorrow afternoon. We're going to pause this animation once we get about three, four o'clock in the afternoon. You see the rain showers already start picking up from Muscle Shoals into Tupelo and then down towards Haleyville with a few stray showers and storms ahead of it. Then the squall line moves through and we should start seeing a lot of that rain exiting the area by midnight on Tuesday night and into Wednesday morning. Maybe a few rain showers left behind early Wednesday morning. And this model depicts the timing of the front, but I still think we should see a few strong to severe storms, so we'll track it for you. 75 degrees, cloudy, warm, and humid today with that south wind. Overnight tonight, 64 degrees will be your low temperature, mostly cloudy skies and mild, mild with a calm wind out there. Here's your seven day forecast. We'll pinpoint it for you. 75 today with 60s overnight. Temperatures get up to 76 on Tuesday and some strong storms expected in the afternoon and into the evening hours. Again, we'll be tracking it for you, so just keep it locked here. Some cooler temperatures by Wednesday and then waking up to some 30s, maybe to upper 30s on Thanksgiving morning.